Tip of the Week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the Village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So now that I've gotten kind of to the edge of the point, and five steps from me is over my head. Now this soft water bucket is prime location for a fish to come in and hold for who knows, a minute, an hour, a day, a week, but this is a good prime spot to maybe catch a steelhead. So after I've started up higher and I've moved to this spot, I can't take any more steps down without floating my hat. So you can reel up and kind of work your line through back the bucket right in front of us. And then if you want to extend your cast and get some, a little more distance, let a little line out after your cast and get a longer drift. This is the cat can snap tee. In a couple instances, if I'm getting too close to the bank, or I have a tree below me, or we, we have an upstream wind in this case, I want my flies to be upstream of me. To employ this without switching hands, keeping my left hand on the bottom, we will do what is called a cack hand style of cast and do the snap tee to bring it upstream of me. So this is the cack hand snap tee. When you're starting out, go ahead and make big movements and really over exaggerate what you're doing. What it really helps you do is feel the rod load. Once you feel the rod load, it's all about muscle memory and you're going to learn the motions to make this work appropriately. As you get better, you can really start minimizing your motion. As you progress, you'll learn little movements go a long way.